How to create gift cards in Shopify. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you everything needed to successfully create gift cards for your store. So to get started, head over to the Shopify dashboard and then head over to products right here on the left. Then navigate to gift cards and right here you will then be greeted with two different options. The first one would be to actually create the gift card manually and this can be useful if you for example do want to uh, launch a giveaway and if you then want to actually give out a gift card to a certain customer then you would use this and then you can also add a gift card product that customers can then actually buy and give to another person or they can then actually use it on their own and so on. Now in this video we are going to do both variants so let's actually get started with adding a gift card product right here. This is going to open up this page right here. Now, this basically works the same as all of the other product pages out there. To get started, we will just have to add a title. Now, in this case, I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm, call, I'm, I'm going to call this gift card essentially. However, you can also customize this. You can put in whatever name you want essentially. Then right here on the description, you will then have to go ahead and write some copywriting essentially to actually get people to buy your product. Uh, additionally, you can also generate a product description with AI. So just as for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to do this right now. So I'm just going to put in a gift card for high quality clothing items Krause clothing and then I'm going to select uh, expert as the tone of voice and then I'm going to click on generate and let's see what this actually comes up with. So this gift card provides access to high quality clothing items. Da -da -da -da. Now I'm just going to keep this as I don't want to waste your time. However, you would obviously have to read through this, maybe update this and maybe you want to actually customize this to your likings. By the way, you can right now get completely free access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course by using the link down below. This will also grant you access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people so that you can grow together. So make sure to check that out if you want to. Then right here on the media, you will actually have to upload a mockup of your gift card. Now, actually you can keep it simple and just upload stuff like this, for example. However, what I would recommend you to do is to actually head over to a tool called Figma. I will leave you the link for this down below. It's completely free to use. And then right here, just click on community resources and then click on the search icon right here. And right here, you can then look for a gift card. And this will actually give you tons of different gift card mockups that you can then customize to your likings. Now we'll actually just change this to a normal card right here. And as you can see, now you're going to get even more templates and you can use all of these for completely free. Just make sure to actually select one of them, upload your logo and so on. Once again, I will leave you the link for this down below. In my case, I would probably just use this template right here, then update it with the correct logo, with the correct price of your gift card and so on. But let's now head back to Shopify right here and let's actually continue with the denominations right here. Now, basically this, sh this just should be uh, your price that you want to sell the gift card for. Now, however, this isn't actually as simple as it seems because if you, for example, do offer a variety of different products at, for example, $70 and the next gift card would be $150 and then this obviously doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You basically do want to actually customize these gift card prices accordingly to your product prices. So if you, for example, do have a one product store and your product costs $50, then it doesn't make sense to have a $150 option. Additionally, if the majority of your products, for example, are priced at, I don't know, $500 and you only do have options for up to $250, then this doesn't make sense because the customer would then actually have to pay additional money for your product. So you do want to actually um, customize this depending on your different kind of product prices. Then right here on that search engine listing, we can actually edit this. This is basically going to be how this is going to be indexed on Google. So right here we could then put in gift card and then I'm just going to put in the name of my company. We could then as actually also change up the meta description as well as the URL handle if you do want to. But for now, I'm actually not going to do this. 
Then right here under status, make sure that this is either active or draft, depending on your own interest. And then as for the publishing, you can actually manage the sales channels as well as the markets right here. I'm not going to do this right now. And under product organization, basically the product type for this would be gift card. And then the vendor should be my store because obviously we're going to sell this on my store in this case. We can then actually also add this onto our collection or we can even just add a new collections onto this. Also, if you, for example, do want to uh, add a collection called gifts, it obviously would make sense to actually add this gift card product onto that collection. Then we can add tags and we can also select, select the default theme template as well as the gift card template. All right, perfect. Once you are ready, just click on save on the top right. And now we do have our gift card created. We can then actually view this in our online store now, as you can see, this doesn't look really nice because I don't have an image added. So let me actually quickly change this. I'm just going to upload this random gift card mockup right here. Then I'm going to click on view. And now this is going to show this picture right here with the different kind of prices on the right. And we can then add this on, add this to a card. And you can actually also select that you want to send this as a gift. And you can then directly select the recipient email name and message. You can also select when to send this onto that uh, recipient. So overall super useful stuff. Then let's actually go to the second option. This also is super useful. Uh, basically just head back to gift cards right here. And then right here you can select create a gift card. Now right here on the gift card details, you will have to give a gift card code. So in this case, if you, for example, um, would actually launch an Instagram giveaway, we could just make this Instagram uh, underscore and then these numbers and we can actually also okay we, we would actually have to uh, delete some of these numbers yeah and then we can set the value of this in this case i'm just going to price this at 50 dollars and then we can also set, set the expiration date now countries do have different laws for the expiry dates but i would actually recommend you to just leave this at no expiration date because otherwise I guess some customers could be very angry with you, which typically you don't want. Okay. So I'm just going to leave this at no expiration date. Then we can actually set a customer that we want to actually send this to. Now, as this is a sample store, I don't actually have any customers. However, let me quickly just add a new customer onto this. Now I've added this example customer right here, which would be me. And then right here we can set to actually send the gift card right now. We can also preview the email. So as you can see, the, the email is going to look something like this. So let's actually just save this. And now this should actually get sent out right here. We can then see an overview of our gift card. We can see all of the, uh, we can basically see the current balance, the initial balance, and we can, <coughs> Sorry, my bad. And we can also see that the gift card actually now got sent out to this email right here. We can also leave a comment right here. And if I'm now going to open my email inbox, we can see that we actually got this gift card email right here, which we can then use on the online store. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to click on the link down below to get access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course, along access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people.